Hey, what's up world? Look, Antonio Edwards here. I want to show you uh, in this video how I paid only $4,500 for a duplex. Yes, you heard that right. I paid $4,500 for a duplex. Look, so basically um, this lead called us um, uh, from one of our RVM campaigns, which is a ringless voicemail campaign. It was a motivated seller, uh, which was targeting a certain area. And with the seller here, uh, he had a mortgage on the property, right? Where he owed $59,000 on the property. So seller uh, owed um, 59K, right? 59K. So he owed 59K on the loan. That's 59K, by the way. And so he wanted, he wanted $62,000 for the property. So it was already a sweet deal at 62k even if we came to the closing table cash at 62k but we knew he had a loan at 59k either way at a $62,000 cash deal or even at 59k and keeping his loan in place it was like he's still going to get three thousand dollars no matter what minus his closing costs so what we did we asked him okay mr seller are you open to keeping your loan in place where we'll we'll take over the the payments to your loan and continue to make the payments throughout the life of the loan and we'll pay you the 3k cash and we planted to see prior to us asking that question we planned to see that hey you want three thousand dollars cash okay are you okay with keeping that fifty nine thousand uh, dollars of loan in place so he said yes so with this being said we were able to take over this property subject to all right All right, I was, I was able to take over this property subject to, meaning that $59,000 loan stayed in place. His mortgage payment was, I believe I'm paying, what, 40, uh, I'm sorry, uh, 400, I wanna say 400 and, around $490. That could be off a couple of dollars, but I'm paying about $490, principal, interest, taxes, and insurance. So the, the loan on this payment, I took over his loan, $59,000 loan stayed in place, meaning I didn't have to come to the table with that $59,000. That loan stayed in place. He was okay with that. And his, his monthly payment was four, uh, $490, which I took over that monthly payment. <clears throat> he had um, 15 years left on the loan, all right? This is very important. He had 15 years left originally it was a 30 year mortgage. He paid on this loan 15 years, right? Already down on the, on the loan 15 years. And he's selling me, he's allowing me to take over his loan with where it only has 15 years left. So I'm, I'm only have a 15 year loan, 490, 59K, meaning, um, 59K, meaning that uh, I only have to come to the table with $3,000 cash. So total purchase was, Total purchase was uh, 62K, all right, 62K, all right? 62K was a total purchase. I kept his loan in place at $59,000, and you should track the total purchase, 62K, minus the $59,000 loan that is st stayed in place, meaning that's only a $3,000 cash I only had to come to the table. So 3K cash to closing. Plus I had closing costs. I agreed to pay his closing costs so he can get a net 3K at closing on, in his pocket, okay? So I agreed to pay his closing costs. And again, uh, you have closing costs as a buyer and a seller, all right? <clears throat> so I had to pay closing costs for seller and closing costs with me as the buyer, okay? These two total were around 1,500 bucks, all right? So you total 3K cash had to come to the table with the difference between the loan in place and, and the total purchase price was 3K plus the closing cost totaling um, me paying the sellers and my closing costs. That's $4,500 that cash I came out the pocket to acquire a duplex. Now, the duplex 
at the repair value is $140,000. I picked up an asset worth $140,000 with only $4,500 cash coming out of my pocket, already getting four nine, uh, what, paying four ninety a month. I'm sorry, I was pay I'm paying four ninety a month. With, through his Wells Fargo. This is where the loan was with, 490 uh, through Wells Fargo for 15 years. Now, here's what I did. Um, now, both of the units needed about $7,000, five to $7 per unit in work. So what I did, I slow flipped this bad boy. So what I'm gonna, gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and erase this. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna erase this right here. Uh, uh. All right. There. All right. So what I did, I have this, I have this, uh, this property, a duplex, where I, I basically came out of pocket forty five hundred dollars for, right? And what I did, I slow flipped it. Instead of me renting out each unit and being a a landlord and have to worry about leaky toilet calls, what I did, I slow flipped it or owner financed it to a um, a, a landlord type of buyer for hundred and thirty thousand dollars. So. I slow flipped it because I didn't want to rent out each unit. All right, I don't I don't like to be a landlord in my buy and hold. So I slow flipped, uh, slow flipped to uh, a a uh, buyer, owner financing. O F means owner finance. O F means owner financing. And here's the numbers. All right, for one hundred and forty thousand dollars. Okay. 140k. I'm sorry. I know it's worth 130. It's worth worth 140. I'm sorry about that. It's worth 140, but I gave him a slight discount. I slow I slow flipped it to him for 130k, right? And he gave me 10k down. All right. So he uh, buyer gave me 10k down. So I already recouped my 4,500 dollars back in my pocket. From the, from the closing, when I acquired the property and took title, I got 10K down from a, 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 an investor buyer, and I owner, I owner financed them and the, the balance of 120K, all right? So 130 minus the 10K down, right? Gives him a balance that he owes me 120K. Now he's gonna pay me that 120K for 30 years. All right, 30 years, and his payment with me, he's paying me 1,100 a month, around 1,100 a month. All right, 1,100 a month. You tell me, is that a sweet deal or not? Now, that's a sweet deal. All right, so I, I, I'm out the pocket $4,500. I get, I get 10k down, meaning that I got my $4,500 back in my pocket, meaning, and I got an extra 5,500 that's in the green light. It's positive. And you remember, <clears throat> my monthly payment is around, what, four, around 490. My monthly payment. My monthly payment, right, is, uh, is 490, right? Let me get my calculator real quick because I'm not, I need my calculator. I'm not the best at doing numbers like this. So I want to use the uh, handy dandy calculator. So 1100 a month minus 490. That is my positive cash flow. Every single month is $610. Positive PC, positive cash flow. So just to backtrack you a little bit, I per acquired this, this duplex right, for uh, $62,000, kept the seller who sold me the, 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 uh, the property, I kept his $59,000 loan in place, right, I only had to come to the closing table with 3,000 cash plus the closing cost to pay his closing cost and my closing cost as buyer, which is an extra $1,500, that's $4,500 in that I had to come out my pocket to the closing table. Now, I didn't want to be a landlord, I, I could have easily put five to seven K each, each unit, and became a landlord and rented it out at 800 per unit. I didn't want to do that because I normally get leaky toilet calls. So, so I, what I did, I slow flipped it to a, a uh, and I owner financed it to a buyer, right? Where he's, he's he brought he gave me 10k down, a whopping 10k down. All right, so I got my 4,500 dollars back within a couple of weeks, 
plus a $5,500 in positive uh, down payment money that's non-refundable, by the way. And the, 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 I sold it to him for $130, 10K down, $120 balance. He's paid me $1,100 a month for 30 years. My monthly payment to the bank of that loan, that $59,000 loan, is $490, all right? He's paying me $1,100. I'm gaining $610 a month in positive cash flow. Now, the beautiful thing about this, the slow flip, if he, if he defaults on this $1,100 a month payment, I can still evict him like a tenant. I can still evict this owner, uh, uh, owner finance buyer like a tenant, right? And his down payment money is non-refundable. It's non-negotiable. He can't get that back. So what I do is I can just rinse and repeat, get another 10K down, and get the same monthly cash flow. So that is a beautiful thing in real estate. You know, so many ways. I just want to open up your eyes that, you know, there's so many ways and creative ways you can structure deals, how you see the deal and, and, the, and the opportunity you see once the lead comes in. So go out there, make some money, do some deals, and um, I'll see you on the other side.